Okay, uh, welcome to uh, Tom's Reef Chronicle Part 3. Uh, so, um, uh, not a significant amount to update today, uh, just to say that um, I have uh, now added salt, um, added uh, enough to uh, uh, for 50 gallons this morning, I should say last, last night, let that run in, and then uh, added an additional um, a couple of cups of, uh, of salt to bring it up to about 75 gallons worth. Uh, I've got uh, a refractometer and everything coming in the mail. I uh, should be here tomorrow with some other testing supplies that I would forgot to pick up. Uh, so at that point I will test salinity and stabilize salinity. Uh, salinity. And um, everything is, uh, seems to be pretty good. I've got temperature um, pretty well stabilized uh, now and uh, running that at about um, oh, I guess 79 and a half degrees uh, with the lights uh, on. I'm actually going to run the lights for a full cycle see how high the temperature gets up to uh, but I can't imagine it's going to get up too much higher because uh, everything seems to be good. I've run AC in the house so that helps. Um, once I put the salt in the water it was amazing how quickly the skimmer started to really uh, put out some foam. It's not, you know, There's nothing coming off of it right now uh, but other than that, there's not much to report, other than the fact that I will take you out here. Uh, excuse the bad lighting for a moment. But when I got home yesterday, uh, on the doorstep was uh, 75 pounds of uh, dry rock from BRS. So, got some really nice pieces here. I'm pretty happy with this. Um, and I'm um, going to uh, make up a mock aquarium out of cardboard here and start working on my aquascaping for the next couple of days. There's my sand. Got about 80, 90 pounds of uh, special grade reef sand. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. So, again, stay tuned. Um, and... Uh, I'm hoping that uh, this weekend, once I've got everything, I will be able to get sand and rock in, and I will be able to start the aquascaping, and then once it's all cleared up, uh, we will start a cycle. And I'm not sure if I said this in a previous video, but I am cycling with Dr. Tim's. I really like the idea of that, instead of throwing a, a shrimp in there, I know many people have their thoughts on these, uh, you know, live bacteria products, but I've uh, read plenty of success stories about people using Dr. Tim's, so uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, and uh, thanks for watching, stay tuned.